Okay, now that mine's finished and we're off to Cinema 4D. Alright, first you want to hit this right here, this button right here, and you want to get the output to 1280 by 720 for now. And you just exit that out. Now I'll go to File, Open, and you'll see a file where you saved it. Um, I saved it in Knuckles and I saved it as Motion Track. Alright, right here. You just open it and scale by 10. Alright, and you'll see how the floor moves if you do that. See the floor moving. All right. Now you want to go file new material. Open it. Go to specular. Uncheck it. Go to color, texture, load image. We're not going to load the image. We're going to load the, the look. We're going to load the video file we saved. I saved it in favorites, and I saved it as motion track. It'll be whatever you saved as slash export, and you just open. This image was not documented in this path. Do you want to create a copy at a document location? Press no. If you press yes, your thing might freeze or something like that. No. All right. Exit that out. Go to just light right here and hit vi um background. Now drag this to the background, and you'll see that when you move it, the Motion track is staying in place to where you see. See, all right. Now I'm gonna put it right here. Okay, from here is the easy part. If you want to call it, you go to MoGraph. If you want to put a text in it, go to MoGraph. Put Mo text, and this is it right there. You see how it moves? All right. If you don't want it like that, you could change it. Go to coordinates. Um, I'll change the H so it could look like it's right here. So when you do it, it stay right there. Okay. All right. I'm gonna go to text. Go to object. Change it to. Um. I'm put tricks. Okay, and I'm gonna go to font, change it to ash. That's that's the font we'll use. Bring the height down and bring the depth up a little height, more, more height. Coordinate, make it, make it longer, make it a little thinner. Alright, good. Alright, I'm gonna go to caps, fillet cap, change this to about. Change the radius to about five is good, and change the steps to about 24. All right, this is what we got right now. It looked like it's on the ground. It looked like it's just a pitch, uh, a text in the background. It don't look legit. So let's start doing it. You want to go to the same place and hit floor. You see the floor going to be under the text. So go to coordinate, change the x-axis to about mm, 20. And change the Z axis to about 20. Alright, so what you want to do is put the background to the um, floor. Now, when you render it out, it look weird like that. So you want to go to floor, right click, go to compositing, um, uncheck self saddling, check composite background. Alright, and then you want to hit the background, this tab right here change the projection to frontal now when you render it out you have the regular background you don't look like it changed nothing so all right so now what we want to do is put a light right here over the text a little, a little, a little over and go to shadow shadow map soft so when you render it out it look like you have a shadow and now it starts to look legit all right so now it's time for the material I want to go to file new material okay double click it 
change the color to white or whatever color you want just make it a light color I'll have mm, type, type blue color light blue go to reflection change the brightness to about to about 50 now nah, I'll make it 70 all right and if you want you can put a texture to the color but I'm gonna keep it like that so I put a blue on now it looks like it's reflecting something like the floor but let me show you a little trick you want to create another floor good change the coordinate go to the I'm not Go to coordinate, change the X to 20, and then we'll Z to 20. All right, now you want to change the B. That's what it is, B, whatever it is. Change it to 90, and you want to drag it all the way, all the way back, so it's out the background. See, so it's out the background. So you have something to reflect on. Now you can put this. To the floor to that floor shit put the background to that floor and when you render it out you have more more um reflections but to make it let me take the color off and see how it looks that looks much better so I just took the color off and just had a reflection changed it just and you render it out and it looks like a good reflection and you'll see tricks All right that's basically it um look pretty good but you could also if you want to change out of reflection look go to the floor floor one and hit the hit the background you could change the projection to spherical and it'll look like that it'll look kind of good um you could change it to cylindrical oh cylindrical and yeah you can just keep changing it or you can make a new material have a blue color or red I'm go all red oops good color good all right reflection make it white change it to about 80 and you can put that on the floor so when you render it out you'll be reflecting some red or whatever all right so I'm gonna stick with the regular <clears throat> all right so that'll be your text it'll be moving with the background so we gonna set up the um, what's the name go to this right here Go to the end of um, your frame. Mine is 334. Go to from. Put zero. And to the last frame of your project. All right, we're going to go to save. All right, save it where you want. I'm gonna put mine's motion track video. All right. Now if you're about to put this in Vegas. Let me show you a little trick. Go to change the format to AVI movie. Now go to options. Go to compressor. Go down, all the way down, and put full frames uncompressed. That'll be the highest quality, and you'll have a big file. But you're going to Vegas and render it again, so it doesn't matter. Press OK. AVI movie, 8-bit channel, good. Keep everything the same. Go to alpha channel, click it and that's about it now for people with slow computers if you want to render fast um, go to blurriness uncheck and go to ray depth change it to six go to depth reflection depth change it to three and shadow depth change it to six that's for a fast render but me personally no I'll just keep it the same but for you, you can do that. Alright, so once we hit that, everything is set. 
um, you could add and play around. You could put like uh, orbs in it. You do what you want, but this is what this tutorial is. So click the red, the orange, and it'll start rendering. It looks sexy, yes it does. All right, so I'm gonna let mine render, and let's see. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So I want to thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Because I got more tutorials coming on 3D, 3D animation, um, how to use the Counter Strike models. It's not hard at all. So, thanks for watching and subscribe. Peace.